It's a rainy day, guys. Oh, it's absolutely miserable outside, guys. So, down in the shop working away, working on the remaining 38 boxes. I wanted to share with you quick how I use the planer right there. I, I rip boards to width with the planer. In this case, I have so many multiple small parts, them sides on them uh, boxes. I'm using the planer for my final width. I could go to the table saw, but I don't want to use the table saw because one, it leaves kerf. The planer does such a nice smooth finish and there's no reason you can't use your planer in this circumstance. Typically, you set up your fence and you grip the board and the table saw to width. So because I have so many multiple pieces here, guys, I can stack them up on the planer there. So here we go, guys. I have a bottom edge, clean and square. Top edge is to rough width. I leave it about an eighth of an inch over in width and then plane it down to the final size. table saw, kerf marks, anything. That also gives me a beautiful flat glue seam for the tops and the bottoms. It keeps everything nice and crisp. Yeah, I want to share with you guys real quick how I use the planer to rip my boards to final width. Like I said, I get away with this on multiple parts, like these uh, boxes that I'm doing right now. Or if I was doing face frames on a cabinet, um, I have multiple parts that need to be to width. You're obviously limited with the planer. I can go up to eight inches, um, and I wouldn't do a single board. You know, guys, I'm using the multiple boards, and they're they're helping each other to keep everything nice and square and standing up through the planer parallel. So that's how I use the planer for ripping boards to whip. It works really great for that, so it served me really well. Hope you guys enjoyed that short segment. Just wanted to come down with you guys, share that, and uh, see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for everybody who's been watching, commenting, and see you on the next one. See you guys.